Hi, I'm Olive Blake, the author of some books. This is a guide to my books. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna try to condense the vibes as best I can for you. So um, this is probably the one you might have heard of if you've heard of me at all. This is the Atlas Six, which is very like. So it's trauma, but make it science. So this is fantasy. Um, most most of this is fantasy, with one exception. In the Atlas Six, you have six magicians competing for a spot, and there is, you know, the implication of murder and, like, you know, it's it's like pretty hot. If you're looking for something that has like hot characters but some depth, and you have to think a little bit about quantum physics, this is the one for you. Paradox is book two in the Atlas series, uh, which continues the drama. So this is technically by someone else. This is by Alexine Farrell Fulmuth, which is my young adult byline. This is a rom-com. This is like a, I don't know, strawberry ice cream maybe vibe. Um, so we have Belle and Teo. This is an opposite attract romance. And basically Belle is um, unsure what she wants to do with her future and she is kind of forced to join the robotics club and learns how to take up space in the STEM world. It's empowering. Masters of Death is, um, I think of this as a cozier book. Not cozier than My Mechanical Romance, cozier than The Atlas Six. So this is about the godson of death, Fox Demora, who is a fraud, um, and Vi Merrick, who is a vampire from Filipino folklore. She's an Aswang. And there's sort of a, a variety of mythologies in here, and a lot of characters who don't want to do what they're about to do, but they have to do it because the world's gonna end if they don't. Alone With You in the Ether is a love story. It's, um, I don't think of it as a romance in the sense that it doesn't have the like secure feeling of romance. Um, it is about a relationship, but it is not a cozy space because it is about, uh, in many ways it's about my relationship with my mental health and, and um, it's meant to capture the feeling of a mood disorder. And so it has moments of racing thoughts, intrusive thoughts. There's a depression that's narrated by other people, which is like very familiar to some of you, I imagine. My apologies, but also same. Um, but yeah, meant to make you believe you are worthy of love. And finally, one for my enemy. This is the like really gooey chocolate cake of my books. Like this is a, this is a lot of vibes. This is Romeo and Juliet meets um, witch gangs in New York City meets Baba Yaga and Koshe the Deathless. And this is like when you want to sit in bed and eat something that's really, really bad for you and just like sit in your feelings. This is the one for you. Enjoy. Thank you so much for watching these guides to my vibes. Um, and I hope you found something good in here. And if not, oh well, next time I'll keep going. Um, thank you so much for watching.